Well, that was an interesting talk from Rudy, right? Yeah, it was. And uh, a, a fun fact about uh, Rudy is actually he was the opening talk at last year, year's uh, Jakarta One Live stream as well. So oh, he's nice. kind of our, our opening speaker. Now. Yeah, it's becoming a tradition, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> So, um, I think let's talk a little bit about Jakarta E10, especially since it's a major release and it was only launched on September 22nd. And we actually um, have a, a page that lists all the uh, features and highlights around E10. And then also we can see the list of the updated specifications on that page. It's on our website. And uh, so, yeah, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. And, uh... Why not uh, show a short little video about the features in Jakarta e Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's start with that. Jakarta EE10 includes new features for building modernized, simplified and lightweight cloud-native Java applications. This community-driven innovation release is designed for organizations looking to start developing new or advancing existing enterprise Java applications. Modernized. The Jakarta EE10 release provides new functionality in over 20 component specifications. This release enables builders of modern cloud-native Java applications to develop and deploy Jakarta EE10 applications on Java SE 11 as well as Java SE 17. This allows developers to take full advantage of new features, including the modular system introduced in Java SE 9 and supported in Java SE 11. Simplified with Jakarta EE10, application development is made simpler by supporting the broader use of additional annotations and taking better advantage of the module system. This makes it easier to build modularized applications and offers improved integration across component API. Jakarta EE10 helps developers more easily implement applications with modern security requirements remove deprecated APIs, and maintain high levels of compatibility with prior Jakarta EE releases. Lightweight. Jakarta EE 10 defines a new profile specification with Jakarta EE Core Profile 10. The Core Profile enables the development of lightweight and modernized Java applications. The new Core Profile provides a subset of Jakarta EE specifications that target smaller runtimes suitable for microservices development. This includes an innovative new CDI Lite specification for building lightweight Jakarta EE applications. Well, if you're interested to rewatch that video, you can actually find it on the Jakarta E10 release page, and it's also on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but, uh, Ivar, what do you think is the most interesting feature and highlight of the Jakarta E10 release? Oh, that's a tough question. It's so many features, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, Rudy introduced the core profile, which is obviously the, the major thing of, of Jakarta E10. Uh, so, so that is, of course, one of my, my favorite features. But there are also other good stuff in the other specifications. Like, uh, for example, I'll just pick a couple. and. Uh, Jakarta REST introduces a, a SE Bootstrap API, which is fairly useful, I guess. So, so that's that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, there are new new uh, things happening in concurrency, and uh, concurrency was actually moved into the web profile. So it's it uh, it used to be only in, uh, available in the platform before, but now it's available in the web profile as well. And we have security, which uh, introduced the uh, uh, support for OpenID Connect, which is a nice feature. And there is more, but. Uh, we we have to go on, you know. So and yeah, sure. uh, and I, I'm just one person. So why don't we listen to what our community members say about uh, their favorite features in Jakarta E10? So let's roll that yeah, video. That'll be great. For this particular release, I'm really excited and looking forward to using it and trying a lot of the new capabilities that will be out there. 
I'm also glad to see that vendors are already moving towards its adoption and towards implementing it so that we can have a larger ecosystem, more users, and also a more mature platform. Jakarta E10 is a really, really important release for maybe for all the community, all the developers that we create Java enterprise applications. The last version is that we moved the, the package namespace from Javax to, to Jakarta E and uh, since uh, this happened, it's, it's a lot of work of the vendors to create the new containers or, or servers that are going to run the new specifications. For me, um, you know, standardizing on CDI and sort of leaving behind the old legacy of EJB is a very important one. So from that perspective, I would say that some of the changes in uh, things like uh, the Jakarta concurrency API, so things like the at asynchronous annotation um, that allows you to further, you know, sort of not need to use EJB anymore. We've had uh, at transactional in JTA since uh, E8. Uh, and now, you know, now that we have things like at asynchronous, I'm hoping that more and more of those EJB-like features uh, move into the component specifications. One of the favorite uh, new features uh, within Jakarta E10 is uh, the core profile, uh, which is uh, yeah a base uh, of uh, core specifications that. Uh, are intended to be also the core of microprofile, for example. Specifically in Japan market, uh, it's my country, it seems that uh, more conservative opinions, opinions are majority and preferable, maybe around two years or even more. Jakarta EE, for example, the lightweight core profile. Core profile is a new profile for Jakarta EE 10, which basically is kind of enable uh, more implementations certify against uh, some like uh, lighter version of the profile. Konnichiwa, Nihon no minasan. Mamonaku Jakarta EE 10. が、え、リリースされます。エクスファンデーションにジャカルタ E tudo bom? Você viu que o Jakarta E10 já está para sair? Pois é, mais de metade das especificações vai ter major release, então tem muita funcionalidade que vinha assim, sendo pedida aí na comunidade para ser parte da plataforma que vai estar tá lá e tem até especificação nova que nem o CBI Lite, hein? Então fica ligado que eu acho que você vai gostar! Jakarta EE is a platform for Code Data Java e o cool é que você ainda pode ajudar. So we heard it from some of the community members what are uh, their favorite feature of Jakarta E10, but uh, we want to hear from you as well. So please put it in the chat section and tell us uh, what do you think is the most impor uh, important feature of Jakarta E10. Um, so Ivar, now that we have some time, um, what should we talk about? <laughs> yeah, let's. Um, you mentioned the polls. Oh, oh yes. So so yeah. Do do, do you answer the polls in the, in the crowdcast? And if you're not on Crowdcast, if you're on, on Twitter or YouTube or Facebook, yes, where we are uh, streaming live right now, uh, go into Crowdcast because that's where the polls are. Yeah, and feel free to add your questions in the chat section or if you have an Ask a Question section on Crowdcast, you can always add your questions and if the speakers don't have enough time to reply to that, uh, they can always just answer it there uh, directly, right? Yeah. And, and we also the speakers will be, will be in the chat in in Crowdcast after yes. their session, so so you can you can ask questions anytime. That's time. true. Yeah. And, and if you have anything questions for us in the studio, you can always uh, put it in the chat, and we will bring it up in in one of the studio sessions. That's true. That, uh, yeah. Comes later. We will definitely do that. Okay. Yeah, and and make sure to to create your Jakarta e snack and mm -hmm. and tweet or send us the image.
damage in, in some way or the other. Yes, and we can just announce the winner of the competition, actually. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> and, and I see there are some out there, but uh, they're mostly coming from Tanya. She, she's back here uh, creating <laughs> snacks for us now. So maybe as we, we speak. <laughs> yeah, maybe we, in some of the studio session we will eat the snack as well. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah we're going to enjoy those. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and... Um, uh, the the uh, w when we talk about Jakarta E and we talk about Enterprise Java and uh, you usually come into the term about cloud native Java as well, right? And and that is a term that is so easily to to uh, misunderstand or everybody has a different interpretation about it. So right. yeah, so Shabna, uh, what's your take on cloud native well, Java? Actually, I might have a misunderstanding, so let's l listen to the next talk uh, from Rostam and Anna Maria and, and basically um, see if we can have a better understanding. Their talk is about actually misunderstanding cloud native Java, so why not listen to that? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. 